Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am, of course, Alicia Ying, your success coach and psychic here at yestotheying.com where success always starts by saying yes to you. And in today's video, I am going to show you two super cheap and really easy ways to inventory all of your Poshmark Mercari eBay stuff so that it doesn't take over your house in bags everywhere. Let's dive in. <laughs> beautiful, you are glorious, you are a goddess, and success always starts by saying yes to you. why having an inventory system is so super important. Aside from the fact that your brain can only handle remembering oh so many number of items and where they actually were, I think I tapped out at about a hundred and I was like, I can't even keep track of this anymore. If you're wanting to do this part-time or even get into this full-time, you are going to want to A, be able to keep your house neat so the stuff isn't everywhere, Two, you want to be able to quickly get the item when it sells or when a customer may have a question about the item and you need to either figure out exact measurements or cotton fabric content or something. Lastly, A2, lastly, one, two, three. Lastly, you're going to want to have a system that really works for you. And what I mean by that is from a spiritual or even a mindset point of view, the more that you treat yourself like an actual business, the more that you're going to be able to make more sales, right? And one of the things that I find super important about an inventory system is that when you have it down and you decide on the one that you want, it's gonna be easier to do your taxes. It's gonna be easier to see your sell through rate as far as like how long has that item been sitting there? Do I need to relist it? Maybe I need to bundle it with other things. Having an, in having an inventory system really, really gives you a lot more power and ability to sell more stuff in less time. Let's dive into two super cheap and easy ways in order to create your own inventory system. The first way is called the number method. Super simple. You take one item, you give it one number, and you chuck it in a box with the according numbers onto the box. So let me show you how that would work. Let's say you have this super cute Harry Potter, don't let the muggles get you down t-shirt, right? So you've already taken pictures of it uh, and you've listed it with all the measurements, etc., etc. So the first thing you would do is you would fold it up. You will take your poly bag. I really highly recommend getting poly bags. You don't have to. I just recommend it because it's easier to put the numbers down on things. But then you take your shirt, you stick it, into the bag, okay? And then you take, uh, these were really great because there's so many of them, but you can get these Avery labels, right? Avery labels, uh, 8160, they're one inch by two and a half inches. There's 750 labels in there. And you take a piece of it, and then you can just start writing the number. So, Again, this is up to you on how you want to do your numbers, but you can literally do one, two, three, four, five, or you could do zero, zero, one, zero, zero, two, what have you. Um, or you can even do a zero one. Now the difference about doing the a letter with a number is just so that you can start to keep track of your boxes, right? But a lot of eBay sellers that I have seen videos on, they'll literally just have, you know, um, A01 or A1, right? And so we'll just say A1, and then you have it written just like that, and then you would take this off, right? 
and then you would stick it onto your poly bag and then that way and you so you stick it onto your poly bag like this you are going to take your clear storage bin you can get these at target office depot uh aces hardware wherever and you are going to take a sticky note and you're going to write down how what this bin is so we said this was a one so let's make this a and you'll probably have about you probably store between like 30 to 50 items. So you could just say one through 50 like that, okay? Then you take the post-it note and you put it onto the thing like that. Then you take your item and you chuck it into the bin. This way, whenever someone, uh, when your listing gets sold and you, you're looking for A1, you can go and go, ah, A1 and easily pull it out. Now, here's the wonderful thing. Once this sells, right, and A1 is no longer, what you can then do is take your, sh take your sheet that you had and let's say you sold A1, then put A1 here so you know that the next item that you sell will be also A1, and you can still keep it in this bin. Make sense? In conclusion, the only things that you would need for the number inventory system are clear bins, or you could have colored bins, doesn't matter. Just any kind of bins, you can get them on sale poly bags, post-it notes, a marker, and some Avery White mailing labels. Cheap hack. If you're really not having the budget for poly bags, especially if you're doing Poshmark, you can go to usps.com and get these priority mail mailing envelopes for free. And you just stick your item in here, same thing, just fold it over and then stick the label on top. You won't be able to see through it, which is a little bit of a pain. In my personal opinion, I like to see the clothes. So when I do pull it, I know exact, I know for sure that it's exactly what uh, just sold, but it's the same process. So um, you get your item, it's super easy. These are free. You drop it in here, right? Go in like this and then you fold it over. And then you can stick your label on here and then chuck it in the box. So free or you can get the poly bags. The second cheap and easy way that you can create your own inventory system is what I call the category system. This is what I personally use because for me, this is my personal opinion, doing random things by numbers just gets me so freaking confused. Especially because most of my things are clothes and I have a large amount of them. I personally feel like it's so much easier for me to mentally keep track of what I have if I categorize it by type of clothing or item. Let me show you how I do this and of course feel free to steal this and use this it's still really cheap and free or pretty free I mean mostly free you'll see so here's what I did I created my own Poshmark inventory system and I did it by alphabet so each letter corresponds to a specific type of clothing and this made it so much easier for me so for example and of course you can choose yours depending on what kind of things you like to sell but like num a was short sleeve shirts and tank tops for women and then b was long sleeve tops and then i realized there were sweatshirts and sweaters and cardigans etc cetera, etc cetera. so i divided it into sweatshirts and hoodies sweaters and cardigans and bd for button downs then C is women's jewelry and makeup, dresses, shoes, accessories, sleepwear, home goods, swim, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So the process is still pretty much the same as in, let's say it's the same shirt, I would put it in a poly bag and then I would use, da, 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 
no cards. Now this is old school, I know, but I had a bunch of note cards. They're also super cheap and it made it way easier than stickers for me to uh, get to give each item a number, especially because sometimes customers are crazy and will ask me for the darndest things and I don't remember and I think I gave them all the details, but then of course they ask for more. So let's just use this for example. Okay, so I obviously clearly have tons of t-shirts already. So how do I possibly know what inventory me number? And that's why I use my note cards. So I would just go in here and I would find the first number. So 823 is available. Then I would put it in here into the poly bag with the shirt. I would take the shirt and I would take the index card with the number that I already had written on it. And then I would put them both in the poly bag like this and not seal it 100%. And then that way I would use, take that, and then I would find, so I have A1 through 10, and then 11 through 20, 21 through 30. So I would take that, and then I would slide it into there, and then that's where it would go. This makes my life so much easier because then, let's say I sold this, then what I would do is I would go and be like, oh, I sold A23. I would go into the box, I would find A23, I would pull this out, and again, because I hadn't done it yet, I would take the card out and put it back into my little old school library catalog, right? So that I knew I could reuse this number again. Then I would seal this up and pack it up and get it to its owner. I'll tell you why I like the category method. I forgot who said this. There was a, a very well-known entrepreneur that said you don't really have a business unless you can actually duplicate that business and have somebody else run it. And that really stuck with me. And so when I was thinking about the way that I wanted to expand this, and let's say I wanted to have you know, a hundred thousand items in stock, right? Then I would be easily be able to expand this system and teach it to somebody else so that they could run it for me while I ran other areas of the company. And I thought that was a really important thing to think about. So in a sense, for example, let's say with my tank tops and my t-shirts, right? Um, with A, and again, I probably, if I really wanted to do, if I was really expanding, I probably would do t-shirts in one and tank tops in another, but they're the same for me at this point. Um, this can go on. So it could, right now I have a, I have 70 tank tops and t-shirts, right? In inventory, but that could easily go up to 100, 200, 500 tank tops, right? But still with the letter A, still in a box with the allocated numbers on it and still easily uh, found, right? Even if I wasn't here. So if you're having a family member who wants to help you or your partner wants to help you or even your kids, this to me is very, very easy to go in and say, okay, great. It's a tank top, I know. So that's A and then I go in and I can find it easily and um, get it packed. Or you can tell them, okay, it's a tank top, it's in the boxes with A, it's A23, and they can easily go find it and see exactly what it is so that there is n there are no mess ups whatsoever. Here's the other really brilliant thing that I did, and granted you could probably do this with the numbers inventory, but I do find it more convenient with this, which is, all of these boxes that I used were free and we love free. So again, I went to usps.com and I got, I ordered a bunch of the small square priority mailboxes and then a bunch of the large priority boxes and I just taped them up, super simple. And then I chucked it in here like that. And then I took my handy dandy post-it notes if you have any lying around the house or they're super cheap, right? And a marker. And then I went ahead and created my little labels that you can see behind me. So again, with this, with my method, the only thing that I really paid for were the poly bags. And I had a ton of these lying around the house. I had a ton of these lying around the house. And that was pretty much it. Everything else was free. 
and I like free, right? You do what you can with what you have to get to where you want to go. And I'm sure that I will update my system as I continue to grow my business. But for now, this really works for me and it's really easy and I just really like it because it was cheap. And it also looks really organized, which I love. In summary, for the category inventory system, all you're gonna need are post-it notes again, marker, uh, index cards, right? Uh, poly bags and priority mail boxes that you can get for free from USPS. You're probably wondering, well, what did you do about the dresses and the jackets? Well, let me show you. I did the same thing with dresses and jackets, except for I consolidated it onto racks. So I have one rack for dresses, and again, each one has a number. So it's super, super easy for me to find what I'm looking for, right? Just super easy. And they're all right here, so I know exactly what they look like, and that's the same with my jackets. As a recap, the two cheap and easy ways to create an inventory system for reselling is one, the number method, which is basically just allotting each item with a number and chucking it in a box with the same allotted numbers on the box, or the category method, which does seem a little bit more involved, but also very cheap and free. And that's where you divide your things by category and then give each one a letter and a number corresponding to that. And then using free priority mailboxes in order to be able to store it easily and effortlessly in your home. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful or not. I really hope that it was because I do want you to succeed and be able to make extra money reselling on Poshmark, Mercari and the like. If you liked this kind of content, if you could just give this video a big thumbs up. And also if you would like to know when the next videos drop, hit the subscribe button with the bell notification and you will be notified. Thank you again so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And again, I really, really hope that this helps. And of course, always remember that you are brave, you are beautiful, you are powerful, and you are so worthy and deserving of getting everything that you want and more, including sales, reselling. And of course, success always starts by saying yes to you. I love you so much and I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.